Hi everyone, today I thought I will make a video which I was um, wanting to do for quite a while now so I'm quite excited to finally be able to do it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the palette called St. Petersburg White Night. So this palette has been talked about a lot and interestingly enough when I started getting into watercolors and I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube I have seen this palette being featured over and over and over and only then um, I realized that I have this palette myself first of all I didn't even remember that it was called um, White Knight because all you get on the palette is this sign here and that's how I recognized it. It doesn't say anything on the back and my palette is about I don't know seven years old maybe older and so I threw out the packaging and I threw out the color um, the pigment color and back in the day when I first got it as a present I think I wasn't that into watercolor I didn't really care what the pigments were called um, I was just using it as paint and that is it. So for me to be then able to create a swatch list and actually track down all the pigments took a long, long time. And um, a friend of mine has helped me to also put these colors together and, you know, we spend a lot of time because she has also an even older palette. And... Um, her colors were slightly different to mine and then we're trying to figure out was it the pigments that were changed or was it the names etc etc so anyways yesterday um, she has told me that these two colors are in fact the other way around so the Mother Lake Red Light and Carmine are so this one is Carmine and this is the Mother uh, Lake Red Light so when when you see these color swatches then just pay attention to that that only these two are um, the other way around so basically um, these watercolors are lovely so I will start by saying that my palette originally was 24 colors and the top line and the bottom line is how they came in the middle, these are the colors that I have added to my palette. So basically these were the originals, the top and the bottom and the middle section is my own chosen colors from White Knight. Um, but yeah, so I thought I really loved those colors so I had to add them. The So I will basically explain first of all how it came originally. So what you get is basically two trays, two mixing palettes. So this is your palette and then when you open it up you get this section here to mix in and you get this section with smaller divisions to also do your mixing. Now what you can do when you lift it I don't know by the way if because my palette is older I don't know if these palettes still come out like this because the palettes that I have seen currently available they do not look like mine so I'm just going to talk about mine um, so you get the option here to place um, place your mixing tray over here and it holds it quite nicely or if you don't want that you can, as you can see, you have these bits here and you can place it like that and you have a flat surface here to mix on. So that's a good, um, convenient thing to do. So these are my swatches and um, so what I have done to my palette to be able to fit extra 10 colours is um, in the middle I had this plastic insert which was supposedly holding these pigments in place but act in actual fact it wasn't doing anything it was plastic and it was quite um, 
it didn't have a um, how should I say it didn't have that sort of strength to hold them exactly in place so the pigments kept moving everywhere and really there was no purpose to it at all but as you can see these plastic bits here which come sort of out of the plastic bottom so I couldn't unfortunately take them off um, is what the insert was attached to so I just ripped it out and these bits preventing me from I could fit another two pigments I think but yeah two pigments would fit in here but due to these plastic bits here um, you know I can't do it because it will look odd so what I have done is I have I'll just show you um, I bought this double-sided tape it's very thin I got mine from Hobbycraft um, I would rip a piece or a cut a piece that would be um, the length of the bottom of the um, oh, I keep forgetting what they're called pans yeah um, and then just basically stick it so now they're nice and fixed in place they don't move anymore but if you do want to take it out at some point and replace it you can completely do it like you can see it's liftable I can lift it off and take it out okay now I've got some paint on my hand so um, so that's what I have done and um, that way you know I get more space in my palette so the other thing to say is as you may see I have some swatches over here so there was a bit of a confusion with the green pigment so the one I have in my original palette is called green and this is what it looks like here right here and um, then on the website that I was ordering it from it said Russian green and the color that they had looked very different to the one I you know I have here so I ordered it as Russian green and in my order list it also said Russian green but when I got the pigment on the actual pan on the paper it said green so that made me think that that's the green that I already have now did they send me a, you know a, a different uh, pigment from what I ordered or is it called Russian green but originally was called green because it's an older palette that I don't know but this is what they look like the uh, color when you look at the darkest parts of it is identical but the way it works with water is very different so it makes me think that the um, uh, you know the the mix of the color is different so here is exactly the same so I thought okay let me try it because you know I thought maybe I did these swatches differently and that's why I came out like that so I tried on the same piece of paper um, and the same technique and again this is how it came out with the original color you can see there's a beautiful flow here and this is how it came with the new green so I'm still confused is it Russian green or is it green but a different formulation so that I'm not certain about but I do have I believe the same pigment twice now so anyways uh, I prefer my original one if I if I'm honest because of the interesting texture you get and the classical you know watercolor movement so anyways so that's to say about that other than this I will also also show you on my swatch list the um, swatches here on a different um, on a different paper you can see that they look sometimes different and they work differently as well so these are the original colors um, I have done them according to just you know how they go um, in that order but 
this is the order that they are actually in the palette. So here are the colors and here are the new additions. So the new colors I have ordered is Naples Yellow, Rose, Violet Rose, Bright Blue, Azure Blue, Turquoise Blue, Green Original, Russian Green, <laughs> all green, um, Olive Green and Indigo. All of these colors are incredibly stunning. And I actually like Naples Yellow on here. It looks very beautiful for mixing. Um, but if you look on Naples Yellow in this paper, it looks very washy, wishy-washy. Wishy um, it looks kind of watery and sort of doesn't have much pigment to it. So anyway, that's that. I will quickly also show you, um, or maybe I should also point out my favorite colors from the original colors would be Scarlet. It's a stunning red. It's just, I can't describe it. I, I, any other red that I have, I don't think I love as much as this red. So... I think it's a must-have and they're very cheap if you just buy a full pan it's literally like I don't know not even two pounds like one pound fifty or something they're very very cheap and amazing quality and I also did mention yet that they are artist grade so they're stunning colors okay now the other color I love is a yellow green blue emerald green and English red. English red is a stunning colour. It's sort of like this um, terracotta kind of baked brick kind of colour. Um, whatever baked brick is, but yeah. And so these are the new colours. I mean, all of them are absolutely stunning. I don't regret buying a single one. And yeah, by the way, on this paper, that new green compared... So here's the new green and here is the original green this new green flows as beautifully as it does on my other swatches so I have no idea <laughs> but yes I'm pretty pretty much uh, certain it's the same color okay so having said that here are a few sketches that I have done so here I have done minimal uh, mixing of the colors and because I wanted to see how bright the colors and how vivid they are. So here again, these are the wrong way around apparently. And that is what you get. So I literally was just dropping, it was wet on that technique. So I just did, um, created this effect by dropping in the colors. And here I have used emerald green, yellow green, and some blue, which you can see in some bits here mixed in so that's very simple incredibly quick but very effective little rose catch that i have here so the colors are you know really truly um art is great this one i'm not certain if i like it or not this was just sort of i wasn't sure what i was going with it but the point of this was just to experiment with the greens and see how many different colors I could get just by mixing um, green colors sort of and, and go around and create new shades that that's just sort of like an experiment now this next one is an orchid and I have I think used predominantly the new colors that I have ordered so if I look at this, so I definitely used rose and violet rose, but I have also used some of these colors at the bottom here, scarlet, mother lake, uh, even English red, and obviously yellows and greens. So this is what I came out with. And yeah, I'm really happy with these watercolors. They are at the moment my favorite watercolors. I have still my Magella Mission Gold sitting there waiting for me to actually do swatches and start painting with them. But from everything that I have and use, these are my favorite watercolors at the, mem at the moment. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. 
see you soon.